Hey guys, Rob or Panix here, and welcome to Web Design and Coding for Beginners. And it's pretty obvious what the series is going to be, uh, but they're going to be really short little nuggets um, that follow on from each other, and we're going to start at the beginning and build a website together, uh, coding wise, not designing wise. So you're not going to open Photoshop for quite a while, probably not at all for the first maybe 10 episodes. Uh, it depends how far we get in each one. So I'm going to teach you how to do it in both Dreamweaver and if you don't have Dreamweaver. And yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to start, I'm going to unhide my desktop and we're going to create a new folder. Now I'm going to call mine tutorial website, but I'd suggest you just call yours website or web page or whatever you want to call it. Or like I call mine panic site. I think you can see it on my desktop. Um, but I'll call mine tutorial website. Now this is, believe it or not, your web your website. The, the contents of this folder will be what you will upload to your hosting site, your FTP, and that is what people will see on the internet. Um, now we'll talk about hosting at a later date, but we're going to start to build, and I'm going to teach you how to do it not in Dreamweaver first. So you're going to want to open Text Edit if you're on a Mac, or Notepad if you're on a um, a PC and I've got mine set up in plain text so you want to make sure you're in plain text uh, not rich text basically you don't want to be able to color it or change it or anything and make sure you've got a nice monospaced font it will make it so much easier a monospaced font is just where each letter is exactly the same width something like courier or the aptly named monospace so um, this is really really simple this is this sim this is comparable to opening up Photoshop creating a new document and then setting the width and the height. So you're going to want to, these. Are, this is very specific code um, and I will put a link to the file in the description but you're going to want to type open um, pointy bracket, I don't know what they're called, exclamation mark doc type d-o-c-t-y-p-e and then html and that's the beauty of html5 it's so much easier that just tells the browser that you're working in html and nothing else um, and that's what we're going to be working with is basic HTML and CSS. Now the next step is to create the actual HTML bit. So you open your pointy bracket again, HTML, and then close it. Now this is actually really, really, really easy. So don't feel that you're getting um. Con don't, if you're getting confused already, don't worry. These this is just the very basics of a, a website. This will um this is what you have to have. And then you're going to want to create your head. So that's pointy bracket again. Head. Close pointy bracket. And in your head goes uh, various information that isn't actually displayed. So stuff like the title, which is what we're going to do next. So what we're going to do is close the head bracket and move on. And under the head, this is where what actually gets shown. Now I like to space mine nicely so that I can sort of keep a clear head. Sorry for the pun. But you want to open pointy bracket body and what's in your body we'll just close the body bracket so that's forward slash body in exactly the same way and we'll then just close the HTML that in the bare bones form is a website believe it or not <laughs> um, and I, I know you might be thinking that's crazy I can't believe that's a website it is you could load that right now it would be completely empty but that is a website so what we're going to do is inside the head we're going to put a title so create um, a new line within the head and just tab it out one I like like tabbing is good because it keeps you able to know what's within each um, square bracket stuff goes within brackets so if you have you'll see as we go along it's quite difficult to explain but you want to go title and then let's call it Rob's website now this will appear when you go on a website and in your little tabs list at the top you'll have the name of the website that's exactly what this does okay now that is pretty much it <laughs> believe it or not so what you're going to want to do command s or right click file save and then you want to go into your website folder folder rather and just make sure it's called index i n d e x dot html okay 
and make sure it's encoded in Unicode UTF-8. Um, it should be spe it should be set as it was, um, and then hit save. And then it says you've chosen extension .html at the end of your name. The standard extension is .txt. You want to use HTML. It doesn't know. It doesn't think you can do websites. Now you'll see straight away that the little icon pops up, and it shows that you can open it in Firefox. So that's what we're going to do. I don't use Firefox though. I use Chrome. So I'm just going to close this, and then we're going to see in your website tutorial. There's index. Now if you double click on that, it's opened it in another window up here. It's very cheeky. But there is your website. <laughs> How mad is that? That is the very, very basics of a website. And that's pretty much what I'm going to teach you to do today. But for those in, for those lucky enough to have Dreamweaver, it's much easier than that. You don't have to do any of that faff. So we're going to open up Dreamweaver, File, New. And then you want to come down to Blank Page, HTML, and then where it says make sure layout is none these layouts are crap Lay layouts in dreamweaver are shit don't I i'm going to teach you various things about how to use dreamweaver um this is learning to code in dreamweaver not design okay make sure your doc type is html5 and then hit create now you'll see this is exactly the same as um the one we just designed except it's got the meta uh, content type in which I imagine this now has, if we open it, no, okay, so it's not put it in. Um, so we'll go back and add that in in a second, but it's exactly, exactly the same. Um, the font is slightly smaller on my Dreamweaver because I'm used to it. And you'll see that it's colored it nicely, so the, the brackets are all blue, stuff inside the brackets are black, and you'll see as we go along that Dreamweaver speeds you up and makes it easier to recognize just about where you are so let's tab them in and that's it that is literally it that's that's created a website and the best bit about Dreamweaver is you can right click preview in Chrome now you have to save it first so we'll save this as um, we'll go down to tutorial website and we'll call this index 2 and again it's been cheeky and opened it in another window um, but that's it right click preview I like using Chrome it's really really quick it's got the most up-to-date web kit and uh, you don't need any other add-ons it's got the beautiful inspect element that we'll learn to use um, so I'll teach you in Chrome but there will come a time where we start testing them in other browsers and realize that actually they break quite easily so um, that's part of the fun I, I, I code websites because it's fun and I like it <laughs> um, and it's a lot of money in it but I don't know, I, I do it because I love it, and I want to teach you guys how to do it, so that's pretty much it, I know that might not seem like a lot for today's, um, but I'm going to try and make these pretty frequently, um, might have another one tomorrow, and that's it, so I've been Rob with Panics, and this has been creating the bare bones of your website, see you tomorrow.